everybody and welcome to this week's Wednesday Wow. My name's Jen, for anyone tuning in for the first time, I'm a special needs teacher and welcome to the Gen Story YouTube channel. Now, we've got a water week this week and I've got all my things set out ready. I'm just going to talk you through what I've got just in case you need to just double check. I'll put it up on the screen again just to let you know what you need for this activity. So I've got all my jars that I sorted out over the weekend um, that have come out of my fridge. I've literally just rinsed them in boiling water to let the labels come off. But you don't have to do that, you can literally just rinse out a jar and use it as it is. Um, I've got my Aurora light as well, any torch will do, but I just love these Aurora lights. Um, I plugged them last week, they're fab, um, but as I say, any torch will do. Um, I've got my fairy liquid here as well, other brands are available, but any washing up liquid you can find would be great. Um, and I've also got my twine. Now, I've also brought an umbrella along. This is literally just a black umbrella. I'm going to show you what I use this for in a little while, just to make it a little bit more wow. I've um, also got a big jug of water here, my big tray. I've put about a centimetre's worth of water in the bottom of it already, um, just to kick things off. So, should we get started? Okay. Now, we're going to think about the skills, once again, that we want our children to learn in these kind of activities. Now, the water in the bottom of the tray, on its own, when we ripple our hands through it, creates lots of bubbles, lots of movement, and lots of interest already. So that might be enough for some of our children, actually, to just have a little bit of water in the bottom of the tray. Now, clear trays work really well, but if you haven't got a clear tray, um, which I'm sure many of you probably won't, um, that will be fine to just use any baking tray, any tray that you've got. As I say, casserole dishes work really well because of the depth of them as well. So again, we can ripple our fingers in it, talk about the movements, talk about the bubbles that we can create as well. We've got our jug, so we can do our pouring action as always. Like I say, this is a really big jug and a little bit too heavy for most children, so use a jug that's a little bit more child friendly. Um, so we can do our pouring as well. That's making a really lovely sound as well, and creating more bubbles. I've got all of my jars in front of me as well, and I've got my twine. Now what I've done is I've literally just made them into little handles like that because again we've got our grasping and release action like that flicking water this week all over the table um, so yeah that's a really really nice thing to be able to do to grasp onto the handle and reach for the handle and hold on to it like that for children that are non-ambulant or not able to do the grasping action sometimes it's really really nice if you could just put their hand through it like that so it's on their wrist and then they're getting, again, that proprioceptive sense of something being at the end of their body. And also you can fill this with different amounts of water so they get a different sense of weight. And then again, you can do that underhanding, hold their hand and just lift their hands up and down and see what that feels like as well. So that's a really nice thing to be able to do. Um, and again, it's challenging our children who are able to hold on to it with balance as well because they naturally want to topple a little bit. And if that's really full, that's going to spill. But that's what we want. We want to challenge our children and get them to practice those skills um, of holding and balancing. So I strongly recommend just tying a little bit of twine onto them like so. so I'm just going to pour the water into my jar like so. And I'm going to squeeze some fairy liquid into it as well. Give it a bit of a squeeze. That's already created a really lovely effect. And this is what we want with these kind of activities on a Wednesday wow. We want to create that sense of awe and wonder for the children. At this point, I'm just gonna show you what I would do with this black umbrella. Um, now, all this is gonna do is enclose the space again. Now, I mentioned in last week's Wednesday wow how important that is for children sometimes because it just creates that sense of coziness, brings the world closer to them. So actually, it's not quite as scary a place. It's not frightening and there's not too much noise and sound and light. We can bring it in and get that focus. And actually, light is a great thing to do that with. Um, creating that element of darkness um, and illuminating certain things creates a focus and it helps with our visual tracking and being able to understand where items are and how to follow them. Now, what you can do with this activity as well is you can do it on the table, like I've done now, if you've got children that can sit okay, or if they're in their supportive seating, you can push them underneath it um, and do it that way. Or you can get them out on the floor and do it on the floor with them. Again, the umbrella will still work with, with that as well. Um, if you've got a slightly shallower one as well, you can do it with them on their tummy, so they get a bit of tummy time. Um, or, you know, propping themselves up and doing it that way. It's quite versatile, so you can do it however you want. And all I'm gonna do 
is bring this down, kind of show you that it darkens the whole space, makes the light a little bit, <laughs> makes the light a little bit more um, wow. Um, and we can bring it all down, do some illumination, watch the bubbles and have some really good fun. And we are done for today. Have lots of fun with this activity. It's a really simple one with things that you can easily find around your house. And I'll see you on Friday, ready for the interactive music session. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, share it with anyone that you think would benefit. And I'll see you on Friday. Thanks for listening. Bye.